Next we have a report on free school supplies, distribution, backpack buddies, and smiles for life. Got your picture out. Cool. <laughs> in the back. <laughs> um, well, my name is Stephanie Kabish. I'm one of our school district social workers, and um, my counterpart, Sherry, was not able to be here, but that's why I told her that I was going to stick to the picture. Because <laughs> so, you're going to be there in spirit. Um, so I'm going to be reporting on the Backpack Buddies program and also the school supply distribution. Um, the Backpack Buddies program is a program that provides nutritious snacks and meals to families via backpack um, that goes home with kids at school. Um, you know, it's, a, it's to go home with them to give them enough meals and snacks for the weekends. It kind of started as a um, started on the long weekends to provide meals and snacks for that one extra day that the kids were home, and then it that the kids were home, and then it carried on to you know um, we do one big distribution a month, and then we do um, a smaller percentage of families get one every every week on Fridays. So it's a collaborative effort between the Tomei Area School District and Second Harvest Food Bank. Um, and we've been participating in this program for six years. It was piloted by Michelle Clark in the spring of 2006. So it's been a very successful program. And we do receive um, food deliveries here at the Cooper Center twice a month. They changed that from once a month last year to twice a month because we do have so many families that are involved in the program. Um, and we are fortunate here because we have our um, alternative high school programs that the Excel program actually uses this as their class project in which they gain work experience. So I last year I collaborated, I was a kind of coordinator of the program and this year I passed it off to Sherry, um, which we're going to take turns back and forth because it is quite a huge undertaking. But we're fortunate to have the students there to, you know, kind of help us, you know, like an assembly line packing the bags, they get the bags ready to be taken to the to the different schools and these big bins. So it is quite a project, but um, we're like I said, we're fortunate to have them here. Um, and families can sign up to participate by completing an application at the beginning of the year at their open houses or their back to school nights. Each parent is given an application that they can fill out, and then um, that's for the big once a month distribution. And then once we get that going, usually in the beginning of October, we start a weekly one where either teachers can refer based on you know different hunger signs that they're seeing or a family at any time can say that they want a weekly backpack. So if, um, I kind of gave you the data. This is just a sample of uh, a report that we have to give to Second Harvest once per month. So it looks at, um, at the end of last year, we had about 605 students in our school district that would receive a backpack um, and, and that's you know considering 262 families so some families obviously have more than one child so 277 backpacks are packed here and then taken to their schools and sent home with the kids um, and then there's also just an example of some items that are sent home I just took one one weekly menu and attached that there so it's milk um, which I was really kind of Shelf milk, I wasn't familiar with that before the backpacking program, <laughs> but I guess it's a hit. Um, a cereal bowl, oatmeal bowl, progresso soup, um, beef macaroni cups, peach cups, so it kind of gets a variety of, um, of the different foods. Very, very nice. I mean, I've had, I get the privilege to go through the different um, comments that families make and they'll say it help, really helped us through a difficult time. You know, it's nice to be able to let the kids have snacks when they're not in school because, you know, I just, it, it's... It's, kind of, it's really touching. So, um, and like I said, teachers can refer students at any time if there's concern. Families can sign up. I've had some, I think two families last year that said, you know, it really helped us through a difficult time, but I don't need the weekly backpack anymore. I'm gonna go back to the monthly one. So, um, they really use that. Any questions about the Backpack Buddies program at all? Okay. So, um, our school supply distribution, this year we served almost 300 students. It was about 294 students, I think, that we served here on August 22nd. It was right here, big mass chaos in this room. <laughs> um, the school supplies and cash donations were donated from many different community organizations, agencies, and individuals that just either donated money or just dropped off different supplies, many churches. It's, it's really nice to see. Um, we're not able to give out all the items on the list, but we've kind of set up a system. Every year we revise it based on, we should have done that last year. Um, so like for example, 
the kindergarten students got a, one box of crayons, four glue sticks, five pencils, two folders, one eraser, and then one bottle of glue. So we kind of look through all the lists and kind of see similarities or, or what we think would be the major cost. And then we kind of ask or purchase those items and then put them in a little bag and get them ready for the kids to come pick them up. Um, so that it, it went really well this year. We're surprised. We were, we were very, um, yeah, we're lucky. Hopefully we'll remember what we all did last year, next year. Um, and, the, the, and this is a big part is because we want kids to be able to bring their supplies to school on their back to school night instead of you know waiting for that first day when either their teacher has to give them supplies or um, maybe they, they're receiving donations from, 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 from somewhere else. So when Sherry and I kind of schedule this, we look at when all the school's back to school nights are and we want to schedule it prior to that so the kids can come in, get their bag of supplies, and then take them to the classroom like all the other kids. We have noticed, I was telling Cindy about this the other day, that you know since the district went ahead and kind of streamlined or made the, made the school supply lists consistent, it has been so nice. I mean, previously it was, you know, Warren School had their own list, Wyville had their own list, Oakdale, Miller, Camp. So, you know, fourth grader at Camp would need total different supplies than the fourth grader at Wyville. It was crazy. So it has just been really helpful, and I was also telling her that um, I have families that are, are obviously go to school in other districts in Wisconsin, and our school supply list is by far not as lengthy and costly as other school districts. So that is very nice. Um, yeah, so and I just the families that come in are very appreciative of the supplies that we're able to give them. And like I said, all of the supplies were either donated, you know, by people or people had donated cash when we were able to purchase supplies. Walmart does not really like us when we come in with I have about four hundred glue sticks. <laughs> so that, that was quite fun. Any questions on the school supply distribution? And the picture was of um, the, most of our pupil services team that we kind of bribed them into coming. Paul bought us pizza this year for lunch <laughs> because it is quite a big, 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 big project. Mm -hmm. Next, you wanted to comment on the I, I, This seems like a perfect place to comment. Um, as school board members, we get school news, Wisconsin school news. And there's a little blurb right here estimated average amount that a person with children in grades K through 12 will spend on their children for back to school back to school supplies clothing etc last year's figure was six hundred and three dollars and sixty three cents about six hundred dollars last year this year it's six hundred and eighty eight dollars and sixty two cents almost seven hundred dollars to get one kid ready for school this has to help them tremendously it definitely does and you know we let teachers know that we weren't able to give all the supplies on the list but as long as we're able to give them something and therefore the teacher doesn't have to you know spend money out of her pocket or his pocket or you know dig into their budget to supplement those supplies so it's it's come a long way the last couple of years and we're hoping that it continue to it will continue to grow but we're I mean like I said there's you know 294 students coming through you know not the students usually the parents are coming through you know getting their supplies for their kids so it but I think last year we tried to do quite a big window of time and we were out of supplies within an hour or an hour and a half you know we only had bare minimum so we had to you know go out and purchase more and then contact people that we weren't able to give supplies to so and that's kind of how we started to okay we have to kind of cut back and just give them whatever we can so we can serve more kids um, than we did in previous years so we were able to serve I think we same number about last year too it's about that 300 mark that we seem to mm -hmm. give supplies to a few did everyone that came in get supplies you had enough supplies to last till the very end yes okay. mostly and um, I should we had there was notebooks were a shortage so we weren't able to give everyone notebooks at the end but they still got the crayons the folders they still got some things on their list and we do we do let people know that if you can't make it on this day please contact us and we give us our we give out our contact information so if they have transportation issues or if they have to work or if there's some other barriers to getting them in here they can contact us we can set supplies aside and then we can make arrangements 
Mm -hmm. Just understanding that not everyone may be able to make it on the one day that we decide to have the distributions. There was another group the, the Saturday right after mm -hmm. your distribution, a church mm -hmm. was giving out supplies. So hopefully those people that were at the tail end maybe went to that also. And we were able to refer some people to that. There were people that came in from other school districts that we weren't able to give supplies to, but then we were able to say that, you know, this agency or this organization mm -hmm. is doing a school supply giveaway on this day. So that was very helpful for those people. Mm -hmm. okay. Wonderful. And typically the schools will have some additional supplies. Usually the first month there are more donations that come in and they go directly to our elementary schools and middle schools. So um, that's communicated with parents that, again, there are supplies available in the school of people. So, thank you, Stephanie. And I was just going to give you an update on the Smiles for Life program. And all of these programs are designed to help our families that really are struggling with a lot of um, financial issues in part due to the difficult economy that we have. Um, you approved the Smiles for Life program and I reported earlier in the month that we had about 148 I think uh, students signed up. We're now up to 193 students that will be taking advantage of that. Our highest number is at the middle school. There are 65 students there that will be given that oral hygiene uh, preventative care. And LemonWire has 40 students. There's 22 at Warren's. Um, even though we hadn't planned on providing the service to the high school, there were actually 14 high school students whose parents enrolled them. So mm -hmm. um, this company is willing to go wherever the students are. Um, they'll be going to Timber Pubs um, and, and all of the buildings. So there, every building has at least one student that they will be servicing. So, Very good. Um, but that has not started. Not yet. yet. There's, it will be starting, I believe, in the next couple of weeks, by the end of September. Great. Yes. Thank you very much. It's good to hear of all the help that's being provided to students.